You march to CBR instruction. Then up the hill to the gas chamber. Receive basic instruction and firing of the M60 machine gun. All right, man, this here is the M60 machine gun station. Here you will learn how to put the weapon into operation, fire the weapon, and how to conduct a misfire action. Uh, once you get the bat set, you must get a gun firing position. Get down where you can fire the weapon where it won't walk all over the table when the round goes through the weapon. And you learn how to throw a hand grenade. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Mill Creek Grenade Range. During your previous periods of instruction with the committee group, you have been exposed to many weapons that keep you alive in combat. Today, we're going to look at another such weapon, the hand grenade, your pocket artillery in a combat situation. From the M16 rifle to the M60 machine gun, from the 66 millimeter heat rocket to the Claymore mine, from hand grenades to the grenade launcher, these are the basic tools of an army soldier, and he learns them well. And now that you know your weapons, it's time to sharpen your combat skills and techniques. Now move your body close to the edge, don't fall in. You're looking for pines, booby traps, punchy sticks, anything that might hurt you. Individual tactical training. Order number four. Team leaders, take charge of your team and move them out to the next cover position. The close combat course. When the man gets to the first obstacle, the trainee leader, which is the fire team leader, he'll take over. And he'll command, you move, I'll cover. Or I'll cover and you move, and they will leapfrog down through the course. You're given important first aid training. And during all this serious business, you get to spend a few nights out under the stars. Are they march out? On tactical bivouac. Tonight they're going on a tactical bivouac. They're going to go on a tactical road march. They're going to get uh, ambushed and they're going to get CS gas thrown at them. I'm going to be prepared because I'm sleeping with my gas mask on. And terrain association, otherwise known as how to find your way in the dark without being found. Good evening, men. I would like to welcome you to area three and your night cross country movement exercise. During the next four hours, we're going to discuss and conduct a practical exercise involving cross country movement at night. You will actually negotiate the course tonight attempting to avoid detection and reach an objective area. And with all this running around, you learn why it's said an army runs on its stomach. They really get it now. They get two choices of meats and three choices of vegetables, uh, two choices of uh, desserts, all the ice cream and pie they can eat, milk, Everything. And how good's the food? Very good. Good as Howard Johnson, or anyway. Uh, we had, well, you had a, a choice between hot dogs and uh, chili and rice, or salad and, or coleslaw, cookies, or watermelon. And since you've had so little to do, intermixed with all this combat training is the important and ever popular physical training, or PT. And what's it like? Side number five, what is the first platoon? What's the count for platoon? What's the cadence second platoon? What's the starting position there, third platoon? Starting position, who? We'll do seven repetitions. In cadence, exercise. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two. One, two, three. Now 
that you're in good shape, how about testing your confidence? Where else but the confidence course? There's the slide for life, the Tarzan, the skyscraper, the belly robber. All right, good evening, men. Good evening, All right, welcome to the confidence course. Ah. Ah. You ain't crying, that's it. <laughs> Basic combat training at Fort Knox. It's been hard work and long days, but the big day finally comes. Graduation. I welcome you to this graduating ceremony. Your presence with us today truly makes this ceremony much more meaningful, and thank you for being with us. But this day belongs to the soldiers now who are sitting here in front of me. You have shown me that you are able to stand up to the mental and the physical challenge of basic training. You are a different group of men from the ones who I talked to approximately seven weeks ago in your initial orientation. You've shown me that you have the desire and the discipline and the ability to get the job done. These are the sounds of basic training you want to remember. If you ever forget what an important part of your life it really was, just listen to this record. It will furnish many memories for years to come. Mm -hmm.